Hi folks, is anyone else confused about how to best crop and size your images for Instagram? Well, stick around, I'll give you some tips that work for me. The current reality is that Instagram is where people post a lot of images. So I thought I'd share a couple tips for at least making them look as good as possible. In reality, you can upload any size image you want, but if an image is too large, it will be downsized. Rather than having Instagram do the downsizing, I prefer to downsize and sharpen images myself in Photoshop using the TK Web Sharpener. Images must also fit within a four by five vertical aspect ratio. I don't know about you, but this often ruins my vertical <laughs> images. Here are the main things to know when sizing for Instagram. The images you see in the feed are all 600 pixels wide and the height changes depending on if the image is horizontal, square, or vertical. But you can reverse pinch images to enlarge them and see more detail. So you don't want to size images to 600 pixels wide. The maximum size that Instagram saves is 1080 pixels wide. So that's what you want to size to. Any larger than that and Instagram will downsize. For horizontal or square images, all you need to do is size to 1080 pixels wide and you're good to go. It gets tricky with vertical images. They can still be 1080 pixels wide, but the maximum height is only 1350 pixels tall. 1080 by 1350 is a four by five aspect ratio, but virtually every serious digital camera uses a two by three aspect ratio. This means that no matter what, your vertical images get cropped and since I don't compose four x five, cropping almost always ruins my composition and cuts out important image content. So here's what I do with vertical images. In Photoshop, I set the crop tool to a four x five ratio. Then I crop the image to be four x five. Finally, I size the cropped image to be 1080 pixels wide, which automatically makes it the maximum 1,350 pixels tall. Then I go back to the original image and crop it to four by five again, but this time keeping all of the height. This creates extra canvas for the width. Now I size this four by five version to be 1,080 pixels wide with some white borders on the sides. On Instagram, I post both versions together so that the first image creates a square thumbnail in my grid and it fits the full space in the feed. But when you swipe to the second version of the image, you can see the full two by three aspect ratio as it was intended to be seen. Note that these sizes just apply to the images you post in your grid. Story images are completely different. Their maximum dimensions are 1,080 pixels wide by 1,920 pixels tall, which is a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So for best viewing in your story, you'll need to create a completely different size and cropped version. Thanks, Instagram. <laughs> so that's how I quickly prep my images to work best on Instagram. To recap, as of 2019, all images should be sized to 1,080 pixels wide. Horizontal and square images can be sized without any cropping at all. Vertical images need to be cropped to the four by five ratio and then sized to 1080 pixels wide. I don't like the size limitations and cropping along with a bunch of other things on Instagram, but it is what it is. And in the end, no one's forcing us to be on Instagram. Despite all the stuff I don't like, I still use it along with a billion of the rest of you. So clearly they feel like they're doing something right. Anyway, I hope that helps out a bit. Good luck with the gram and I'll see you again soon.